This is a video about how to use ashes and simulink together. And it's actually quite simple, especially if you use the examples that we already provide with ashes. So I'm using the default array template. And the first thing I have to do is come here and select a Python script. And this is because the way Simulink and Ashes communicate is through the Python API. So that's why we're selecting a Python script here. But the actual code that's going to run the controller is going to be Simulink, as you will see. So I'm going to enable the Python script and select the script that I want. So this here is an example that you have in, um, in the Ashes folder. So if you just select this script here, run TCP controller, and press OK. So now Ashes knows that it should expect a Python connection. I also need to say what is going to be controlled by my Simulink controller. And in this case, it's going to be the pitch angle. So I come here, say Python script, and press OK. And now I can open my, uh, my Simulink controller. So I have it here. It's in the, it's in the example folder that I, that I just showed you. But I had, it, I had it open already. So I can come here and yeah, and then before starting the simulation, I'm just going to plot the RPM and the pitch here, just so that we can see that everything is working fine. So if I start the simulation, um, nothing happens. Ashes is waiting for, the, for the, the connection with the controller. So I can come back to Simulink here and just press run. And now if everything works fine, yeah, and then now Ashes is running and the demanded pitch is controlled by Simulink. And well, just as in any Simulink simulation, you can just check how things are doing, for example, here with the scope. And we can see this is the demanded pitch plotted in a Simulink. And you can see that it's the same as, as what is happening here in Ashes, as expected. And you can pause the simulation here, move like a few time steps at a time here, start the simulation again, so just the same way that you would debug any, any simulation in Simulink, you can do here and then see how it works with Ashes. Cool, so that's uh, all for this video. So I hope that this made sense. And as always, if you have any doubts, don't hesitate to get in touch. See you around.